first two, first uh, three tumbleweeds, I mean, I'm pretty sure has a guaranteed coin in it. Pretty much guaranteed, at least. First four tumbleweeds, I mean. <laughs> first three obviously didn't have it, but that means this one is. Check it out. What'd I say? That was very fast. Plant jump. That's what it's called. Plant jump. You jump over him, and he is a plant. Don't hit me. <laughs> Ooh. Unfortunately, I don't have to be slow here. <laughs> Got my coin at the last second. And I'm able to damage boost, baby. Whoa. Probably could have been faster, but here we are, folks. Ooh, a free coin. Don't mind if I do. Nice. Free heart as well. I need 10 coins from random drops within the next, like, level. Like, next two half levels, I should say. I already have all of the coins that I need. However, because I am a fast man, I'm going to be skipping out on some of the coins here. Whoops, only got two of them. That was not very optimal. Whatever. Seven coins is enough. Whoops. Wasted some time there. Probably a second or so. And, alright, whatever. Did our best. First boss, should be easy. First phase here, can't make any faster. First cycle, I mean, but we can deal a whole bunch of damage. 42 is pretty average. And this one we want to kill as quick as possible. He only shot three times, that's pretty okay. And then here, did a pretty big jump, that's good. And kill him nice and quick. That was an okay fight. Want to get as close to the right screen as we possibly can. Pretty nice. We get the fan, which will eventually become our best weapon. Right now it's okay. I use it to kill this dude. Alright. Seven coins is not enough. Um, we need ten, like I said. So we need three additional coins from enemy drops. Very, very doable though. At the very least, I'll get one coin from mosquitoes right before the shop. And... Should be able to get one or two right at the beginning here. Ooh, not from those guys, though. Maybe here. I got two. Nice. And probably, like I said, one from Mosquitoes, but I would like one at the end of the room here, too. Let's skip across this water, which is actually quite difficult. Did get our coin. Maybe another? Nice. That means I can skip one from this chest. I do want to open as quickly as I possibly can here. Nice. Like I said, skipping one there is quick. Alright. So here I'm going to be shooting backwards. This makes all the birds spawn behind me. While they're doing that, I just get free reign to do whatever I want. I'm going to try and get edge boot here, but probably not going to happen. Corner boost, I should say. Man. Edge boost. <laughs> the term I use to refer to something completely different. My mosquito coin. We still do want coins, so definitely won't refuse them, even though I only need 42 for this shop. Jumping into this guy, I think, gives you good momentum. And like I said, we still want coins. I'm going to be doing my best to kill these guys real quick. Oh, I should have gotten a coin from that guy. Oh! <laughs> Alright, I'm two coins under. That's okay. Turn around is good as we can. Kind of hard to turn around in this game without losing speed. Next up, we got a bit of a trick. A bit of a... It's not really a skip, but it's a shortcut for sure. Um, hopefully I can get it, because it saves good time. Or, I should say it wastes time to miss it. I got it. Jumping on those enemies, I think it's a 5 frame window, so it's not too hard. Next up, we got this boss. This boss starts off with a cutscene thing. Involves killing these guys that come out of the ground. 
can always come out of the same spots. Because we upgraded our weapon, we can hit them when they're on the ground. Now we got the big boy. Guys, just a pure test of mashing. Oh. And again, we want him close to the right side of the screen. Bubble is terrible. We use it like twice. Don't worry about it. Do my ladder jump here. Check that out. I saved zero frames. <laughs> Aww. My initial jump there was bad. You're losing time. Okay. Check out this perfect turnaround. Oh, it was pretty perfect, actually. Aw, oh, why'd I do that? I'm stupid. Okay, I'm gonna do two jumps here. Three, actually. Oh, I could've collected that coin. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Fine. I save time here, check this out. Not stopping. 36, I definitely should have more coins than that, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna hope for 10 coins from the mole. heart um 79 i'm comfortable with it i shouldn't be but i am this mole a good fight will have him one to the left of the middle right there nice i don't think i missed any shots be good now what we're going to do is hope and pray this guy drops 10 coins. Good. So 89 is a... V or 90, I guess. Is a very manageable amount of money. Here we're going to hope that we land on this platform. We didn't, so we're going to have to be slow. Break. We'll drive by. If we don't kill the bats, then those red things on the edges are walls that we can't go past. But it's really slow. This fish quick kill is something I didn't do in my PB, so I'll be saving time here. Assuming I do it right. You have to mash really fast, but not too fast at the beginning. If you mash too fast, he goes into his second phase too quick. We want him to go into his second phase when he's in the middle of the screen, and that'll make him jump. Okay, there we go. That'll make him jump right above the left platform up there, and it'll make it so he drops the jetpack, which is the item he drops, right on top of the platform. So we don't have to swim up because if it drops into the water we have to swim up after this cutscene, and it's really slow but if we kill him right there end up on this platform yeah that's something i found before that the quick kill was oh that was a bad boost before that the quick kill was um like kill him in the middle of the screen and ride a bubble a bubble up during the cutscene, which wasn't great oh freak that was a terrible boost what in the world am i doing so the jetpack allows you to boost Gives you some speed. It's the only reason speedrunning this game is any fun. Okay, this guy's almost guaranteed to drop 10 coins. Ooh, not good. I need, I believe, this is gonna give me 140. I need one more coin drop. Ooh, I need two more coin drops. I was wrong. There's one, but. Yeah, I'm low on coin. That's the glitch I didn't use, by the way. Oh. Okay. As I was saying, that was the glitch that I didn't use in my world record. I discovered it after. And then it saves like nine seconds and then someone came around and beat me by nine seconds using the glitch. And I was like, oh man. You're welcome. <laughs> so we got the quad. Quad's the best weapon in the game. 
our most cost-effective upgrade at least. We now do 8 damage per shot. So, so long as we can get up real close to bosses, we can deal a billion damage to them per second around. I'm guesstimating, obviously. I don't know why I'm still shooting. You don't want to shoot in here because it's a lot of enemies. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. It doesn't really make sense, but... Oops. That's my jump up. It's okay. This truck boss has another quick kill that I discovered, but I didn't release a video about it because I couldn't believe it saved time, but it does. So we go ahead and leave during the fight, and then we dash during this cutscene, get as close to this wall as we possibly can, shoot him a bunch off screen, or oh, kill him before he reaches this wall. And I think the main reason this saves time because the cutscene of this door opening is very quick. Usually the camera has to pan all the way over. But with that trick, it doesn't. So, it's pretty good. I think it saves like two seconds. I don't know. I timed it like multiple times. Like I said, I didn't think it was real for a wrong. Because like you're just kind of just standing there for a bit. This is like the longest break in between levels, by the way. I cut scenes. I'm in a cast for a little bit. Now I get a jacket, which is pretty cool, I guess. If uh, Mr. Caro here ever gets into Smash Bros, the jacket alt is the one that I would use. He looks pretty snazzy. You would think the fire weapon we just got would be pretty good in the snow world, and it's like kind of good, but honestly, the quad's just way better. <laughs> uh oh. I don't know why I did that. That saved, like, a marginal amount of time. <laughs> but it was bad because I took damage. That's okay. I don't need the jacket for anything. I do intentionally take damage later in this level, so it's not a big deal that I took damage there. Just means I'll lose time somewhere else. And right there, I guess. Ow. Oh. Messed up. Oh. Am I trash at this game? Ooh, baby, I had him turn around. Yeah, yeah, give me all that wind speed, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> what? 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 So that's where I usually take damage. I was trying not to, but here we are. <laughs> Snow is really annoying. You want to hit as much as possible. Well, it's pretty good for that. Oh no, not more damage. <laughs> I don't want to lose my heart jar, because I kind of need it for the final boss. This should be one cycle. It's literally random uh, what vents he travels in between. So it's nice that we got some okay luck there. Um, If I was smart, I'd go into the shop and replenish my health, but here we are. Ooh, never mind. I am a genius. <laughs> I get to play this a little risky, which I will. Wah! Okay. Come on. <laughs> Took that real slow, but that's okay. Uh, wind room is annoying. In this game's hard mode, the wind's rooms are really cool, but no one speedruns the hard mode because everyone's scared. Everyone thinks my world record's unbeatable, and honestly, I don't blame them. 14-year-old <laughs> me was gaming, is all I'll say. Whoop. Oh, no! Okay. No. <laughs> what am I, trash? How am I losing at the, the climb section? Isn't my movement supposed to be good? I'm a speedrunner. I was the goat of this game for a while. And my movement's like that? That's what it looks like? 
Maybe I am rusty. Okay. Bets are in. One cycle. Oh, I'm literally one one shot away, dude. Ah. Uh, it's it's random, by the way. Um. Whether or not you're able to one cycle that guy. Uh, everything about that fight is consistent, except for when he enters that second and third phase, when he spins around and then he's vulnerable for a little bit and he's spreading out his little tentacle things. How long he spreads out his tentacle things is random, and that also determines how um, much time you have to hit him. Oh my god, my boosting is terrible. This is world record movement? There's no way. No, oh, I forgot to switch to fire. <laughs> Am I stupid? <laughs> I'm too busy explaining stuff. You need fire here in order to do this descent. Save a cycle. All right. Well, here. Fire can hit below it. And I was actually maybe the fastest I've ever done that. It was so fast I got hit. That's really bad, actually. Okay, I can get hearts from these enemies, so let's try that. Because I would prefer having three hearts. Or a uh, trick. Save the whole bunch of time that I want to do. Well, that opportunity is gone. Okay, it's fine, I guess. Uh, I'll do the trick anyway, because I want to. I'm gonna wait for this drop. Because I did that room kind of fast. Yeah, I'm doing the trick anyway. This is where the bulk of my time save comes from. Can't just skip it. Then I'll be out of practice. No! <laughs> Andy's blocking my exit. This is so sad. Whatever. Almost. I think I still saved time compared to uh, if I did the normal strat there, but now I'm going to grind for health here. <laughs> oh, those coins. I want to. Ain't no way, dude. Bro. <laughs> Uh, that's okay. That's okay. There's a guaranteed heart drop over here that takes a million years to get, so I'm not too worried about it. You know what else I'm not too worried about? Getting hit here. I'm just gonna do my Omega Fast Strat that no one else does because it's really dangerous and not worth the time save at all. Alright. There's my guaranteed heart right here. And then I escape. My daring escape. If I get hit by that guy, I cry, by the way. But I didn't. It's the clock boss. You need one heart going into it. You don't need it, but... No one in their right mind would do it with one heart. Because you need to do a crazy jump in the middle of killing him. And as you'll soon see, killing him is actually kind of the ordeal. <laughs> uh, like I said, the quad is best when you are close range. But this boss kind of wants you to not be close range. Oh my god, my boost is trash. I'm just going to start with quad. And start with the repeater here and get a little bit more damage to start, but I don't like doing it. So uh, yeah, like I said, you need to be long range for this guy, but I'm going to not be long range. I'm going to be close range. I'm going to stand on his neck, and then I'm going to jump when he's at 160, because that's when he goes into the next phase. I'm going to stop shooting right here, and I'm going to start shooting again when I jump off, and then I'm going to land on here so I don't die, and that's the clock boss skip. Um, it's pretty hard. It's very easy to fail and lose the entire run, but I didn't, so that's pretty cool. So now for the entirety of this level, I need to not take any damage. Um, Spoiler alert, this will not happen. So I'll probably go ahead and grab a health upgrade. I don't even know if I have enough money for this health upgrade, I'm not going to lie. Wah! It's been a while since i played this game, so I don't know how much the health upgrades are price-wise. 
Whoa, okay, we're fine. Ooh, okay, we're fine. We continue to be fine. Um, I'm gonna kill this trash can. I don't like him very much. And it's faster to do so. Another bird room, so we go ahead and turn around for this one. And then the uh, room after this one is actually not the room I was thinking of. It's another room that I forgot about. Yeah, it's this one. Flame room. Well, the flame room, because there are some flames. So we kill that guy real fast, and then you jump over this guy, and then next up we have the plant jump. Uh-oh. I'm slow. Oh, still was able to jump over him. <laughs> it's actually quite difficult to jump over the plants, so pretty good. And hey, look at that. I didn't take damage, so I'm not going to be going in there and getting an extra health boost. I will be going in completely raw. Oh, oh, okay. Those jumps are always scary, because they are hard. This room is the easiest of the tower climb. I say as I do something I don't think I've ever done in my life. What in the world was that jump? All right, that's fine. Ow, and I missed that jump. I shouldn't have said anything. What am I doing? This next room, oh, this next room is the hardest of the tower climb. Um, I will probably not make it out of here without taking damage. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. Ah, oh, two damage? No way, dude. Uh, I'm not gonna get hearts. Let's move on. <laughs> no. You're usually supposed to... Oh, what am I doing, dude? You're usually supposed to get past the moles without taking damage real easy. And then the hard part is the laser part. Alas, here we are. There is an extra heart that I can take after this upcoming boss fight, but obviously that's not ideal. Considering that the boss fight itself is one in which I usually expect to take some damage. Ah! I'll play it real safe. Oh, by play it safe, I mean I'm gonna jump really badly. <laughs> oh, and take damage anyway, dude. Right, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I will take the extra heart because I am scared, um, but I do have a heart jar, so that definitely will help us. Oh, that could have been faster. I think if I stood further to the left, then Mr. Caro guy would have gotten into his little scripted position a little bit faster. Wah! Are you kidding me? I was in that heart hit box. Ain't no way. All right, it's fine. For no reset run, this has been pretty good. That being said, I need to beat the boss without dying. Um, I also would prefer a four cycle. The four cycle is kind of hard. You have to shoot him real fast. Oh, and this is a bad setup for a four cycle. I think I got a enough damage on him for that first phase. Taking damage there was really unnecessary, but we got the four cycle, which is good. And right here, thing. Wang. Yeah, I expect to take damage there. I do not want to take damage from that one, though. Okay. And now I go in. Okay. Time. Uh, time was like probably 25 minutes or so. Because um, my game's also running slow. But that was a pretty good no reset run. I haven't played this game in a really long time. So, that seemed pretty good. I still got it. Folks, we still got it. I'm not gonna have any spoilers at the end. Twenty fourteen. So I'm pretty sure I played this game when it came out. <laughs> All right. Pretty good. What is the in-game time? Twenty one fifty. That's a new world record. Ooh -wee, Yahoo! 